Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Wallet Reset. It's Mike Malbro, and today we're going to talk about Principles by Ray Dalio. All right, this is going to be my review of the book Principles. But before we get started, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if at any time I say anything that blows your mind. And if you have any questions about business, starting up, marketing, leave them in the comment section. So, getting right to it. Principles, the book by Ray Dalio, has been out for a few years. Now, if you don't know who Ray Dalio is, Ray Dalio is essentially one of the largest head fund uh, managers in the world, right? And you should know him because he's a, also a very smart person, a very intelligent man, um, not just in finance, but in a lot of different areas. How intelligent, you might ask? Well, in his company, they have something called an idea meritocracy. So really quick, let me just hit on that and then we'll go into my review. So idea meritocracy is the coolest thing to me in the world, right? And what it is, it's a system for making sure that the best ideas always are um, gone. People always go with the best ideas. And the way that they do this is by voting on certain ideas through an app that takes into account the person that they're hearing and their personality traits and weighs certain things about their personality traits based on their past as uh, good or bad. So someone who has a high conscientiousness but low organization skills will be put in the right place. Someone who is very creative but lacks follow through will be put in the right place. And they'll be teamed together in a way that their strengths and weaknesses balance each other out. So it's almost like a super person, which is why... Uh, Pretty much every everybody in that office has to be extremely, um, extremely tough, extremely gritty, uh, in order to even last in his office. Because essentially, what that means is you are judged a hundred percent of the time on the things that happen to you. You're judged on your merits, right? And if you if you have an opinion or or advice or something to say that you feel like could add to the investment strategy, well, it's not heard if, uh, as, as, or it's not weighed as much, I should say. It's heard, but it's not weighed as much if you are not the type of person who has a good idea and then follows through on the good idea. So you have to be uh, very strong within yourself in order to even make it in that company, not because of how you know difficult the work is, is or how you know strenuous the hours are it's literally uh, it, you have to be mentally and emotionally stable and if you aren't mentally and emotionally stable like most people aren't then you can't really make it you know um so i think that's genius because you personally right if, let's say you're the uh, you know you're fresh out of college and you just got you know you're on your internship and you're in there with ray dalio and Ray has an idea, and you're like, I don't think that's a good idea because of blah, 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 you're heard. And depending on your character traits, you might win. <laughs> you might have the better idea, and people go with your idea, and the company goes with your idea. So that's the type of person uh, Ray Dalio is in terms of how intelligent he is and how smart he is. And he, he won this intelligence very hard because uh, he, a long time ago, basically tried to forecast what was going to happen in the market and lost big time. He, he basically lost everything, had to go and ask for a loan uh, to keep his business up and, you know, basically had no money to pay the bills. <laughs> so uh, long story short, man, this guy has, has not only seen a lot of stuff, he's actually maintained a humble demeanor throughout it all. So... Ray Dalio's book is all about principles, right? And not just principles, but the principles of success. So what are these principles? And I'm just going to kind of uh, hash it out for you uh, in a very straightforward way. And it's essentially the, the illustration he uses 
is kind of like a loop like that, right? And so what it is is that, you know, you start off and you have this idea and you start by trying something. You probably don't do get exactly what you want. So you're like, okay, well, what's going wrong? You start trying to fix it. And then you realize, okay, I'm on to something now. And then you keep going up. Um, but the problem is that most people think that that's it. And so in reality, success is a bunch of these loops. And so if you are, let's say you're starting a business, right? Most people imagine themselves being at the end goal of the business. So like, and I, I get this question all the time, million, a million dollars, right? So if your goal is like a million dollars, the way that most people set that goal is by visualizing having it and then uh, visualizing all the things that that means towards their life, whether that means that they're going to be able to take more vacations or get a house uh, that, you know, their dream house, get their dream car, whatever. When they think of that million dollars, they think of what it's going to be able to afford them. And so what happens is they think, oh, I'm going to have this great idea. It's going to take off, go straight up to the top. People are going to be like, I'm going to be on the news in like three months. <laughs> you know what I mean? Talking with like, uh, you know, I'm going to be on the view or something like that. You know what I mean? But essentially it never happens like that for the most part if you if it does then you already had you already had it <laughs> you know what I mean like you've been through that cycle of frustration and success um, but essentially that's what it is is uh, in principles and obviously he talks about a lot more than this but the main thing that you have to understand with success is, is uh, the principles of success is that it's built upon failure it's built upon trying failing or, or slightly, uh, basically failing and then making small improvements as time goes on. Now, if this sounds familiar, it's because I talked about something similar to this in my, one of my other videos called, uh, talking about Kaizen, right? Now, Kaizen is essentially a similar process uh, of small improvements. As time goes on, you make improvements and you get better and ultimately you improve yourself. Um, and that's really what Ray Dalio's principles, uh, the core message is, but he doesn't really, what I like about the book is that he doesn't really go into like the woo woo kind of a thing. He's a very, um, mathematical, um, and a very, uh, he has, he has a very structured way of, of approaching it and a very structured way of thinking about it. And it's a refreshing way of looking at self-improvement because if you read this book you get it like there's almost no way that you can be struggling and read read principles and not understand he, he takes something that has for years been a very ethereal and like mystical thing and he boils it down to the nuts and bolts of like this is how it should work and uh, if you haven't I'm going to link you to uh, his video series, because he actually has a video series that's like a condensed version of the book uh, Principles, and it's really about the principles of success, and it's it's a really cool story because it actually walks you through a story of success and how it works. Um, so, what are the negatives, right? Um, to be honest with you, reading the book, I didn't really necessarily see too many negatives. I think that the Primarily what somebody who sees it as a negative would see uh, may be that the book is long. I, I mean, it's a it's a pretty substantial book for, you know, in terms of books these days. It's not it's not like, you know, something like this. Uh, it's really a, you know, it's a thicker book. So uh, you, you do have to spend time to read it. You're going to have to be very focused and use the principles of success <laughs> to get through the book. Um, but if you're like me, I'm the type of person that I don't read books necessarily to read it cover to cover and, and get every single word out of it. I read books to understand the content so that it can be applied somewhere in my life. So if you read books from cover to cover, there's going to be a longer read. If you read like me, it's going to be something that you could go through in a day, put it put to the side, and then when you uh, kind of need a reminder, go back to it again. So, 
if you are thinking about getting principles but you're not quite sure, right? If you're thinking about getting the book, I would say just go ahead and get it because this book is, um, it's really one of the books that has touched, uh, touched to the core of, uh, I guess, a lot of how I base my actions now. Um, before I read the book, I was, you know, I was not doing uh, well in a, just in a capacity of like getting results in my life. And reading the book allowed me to uh, kind of just get it, you know what I mean? It, it really did change a lot of how I approach things. And so now uh, I work out pretty much every day. I invest uh, in the stock market. I'm, uh, I got a good job that I didn't have before. <laughs> Uh, I, you know, I, I'm actually working towards real estate investing in the future, uh, so on and so forth. And I had all this knowledge about finance and, and real estate, wealth building, all this other stuff for a long time, but I never did anything with it until reading this book. And I'm finally starting my way to build up. So hopefully over the next couple of years, you're going to see what the results of using his framework actually did for me. So anyway... I say all that just to say you should get Principles by Ray Dalio, okay? It's a great book. You're going to like it. It's going to actually improve your life, so there's nothing else to think about. Anyway, that's it for this video. Give me a thumbs up just for the sake of this video because this video by itself, Principles is bar none the best book that I myself have read um, probably ever. But if not ever, then since I've at least been like 22, 23, uh, since I started reading. But uh, that's really it, guys. Leave a comment if you have any questions about how I'm using principles in my life. Or if you just want to know like what my daily schedule looks like and how I kind of run my day, leave a comment and I'll go ahead and make a video about that for you too. Anyway, that's it, guys. Mike Marlboro, Wallet Reset, and I'll see you next time.